Hello YouTube and welcome to my next tutorial. Um, I'm not going to be doing the bathroom series as of yet because I still need to make it myself so when I make the full video it won't be full of errors and stuff like that. So um, what this tutorial is going to cover is just how to make realistic looking trees and it uses a program called Tree D. I'll have a link to the download in the description but to find out what you need to do is type in tree uh, brack I think it's called D like so press enter and go to the first page it's under freckle and click download set up and you can use it to make nice realistic trees so here's the program here and I'm going to be showing you how to make a nice looking tree and then export it up into blender and make it look all nice alright so when you start off you have your basic scene here with just a single tree and it's got a lot of triangles so what you want to do is go to the trunk and then you can muck around with the length and radius here so I'm going to make this 20 long and thicker than that about that's right okay now you want to go to leaf and put the leaves down to something like eight now it will look like there's not a lot of leaves but there's an easy way to get rid of this um, click and drag down to go to the texture and choose a very bushy texture like one of these ones this one looks good now as you can see it's still small so what you want to do is go up to the size minimum size to something like 4 maximum size to something like 6 oh god why is it lagging anyway so it's kinda of too bushy so I'm gonna bring the leaves down to something like 6 maybe 4 even and you want to take off leaves on sub branches or leaves on branches actually and now the tree only has 6800 vertices I'm just going to muck around a bit with the branches alright ok so you can have different ways of modeling out the tree I just usually have it at random the twisted pair looks nice but I'm keeping it at random alright now if you if you're kinda happy with what the tree looks like but you're not exactly exhilarated by the shape you can just click randomize seed and it'll make something random for you and I'm pretty happy with that so now what you need to do is just go file export obj which is exporting an object file which you can then import to Blender. So I'm just going to export that to my desktop and call that tree. Save it and close that. Yes. Oh, come on. And you have two files tree.obj and tree.mtl. Don't bother deleting tree.mtl because it's necessary for tree.obj. So open up Blender now and if you haven't already done so, Go to your user preferences and go to add ons, import, export, and find obj import. So that is right there, wavefront object. Click select, and there you go. Now you want to go file, import, wavefront object. Then go to your desktop and import tree.obj. So there's our tree. It's kind of big, but now you just scale it down. Now, one thing you'll notice is that it doesn't have any textures on it, which kind of sucks. So we're going to texture it right now. All right, so select a tree and go to materials. Now, there's two materials. Cross is the leaves, which is assigned to these material, the leaves here. And wood is assigned to the branch and trunk. So just going to select the tree and I'm going to go ahead and add the leaves first so click the leaves material click on the texture and open an image and click open now you want to find 3D and 3D is usually installed in C and program files x86 if you have a 64 bit computer in Giles, no not Giles where was it? Um, Damn, can't remember what was installed. Uh, when you install um, 3D, make sure you remember where you installed it. I 
have a bit of trouble, bit of trouble here. Luckily for me though, I have saved the textures. So, textures, environment, foliage, trees, cross zero nine. And now that that's done, you want to select emit just to make sure everything is right. And why isn't it coming out? Okay, delete that and add a new texture, image or movie, and add cross 09. There we go. Now change this to UV. Uh, turn on alpha and go to your normal color, your material settings. Go down to alpha blend and go alpha clip. And you want to go down to transparency, click select OK and turn the alpha down. Ta-da, you have the leaves of a tree. Congratulations. Now, uh, because I have shadows here, one thing you want to remember is with shadows for the tree, make sure you turn receive off because that way there's a lot of calculations because there's a hell of a lot of planes here casting shadows everywhere. So just leave that off. And there's no way as of yet to have alpha shadows in Blender where like you can see like the light coming through the leaves. The planes are the shadows, unfortunately, so it looks kind of ugly. Now, um... It's just the same process for the wood, so delete this original texture, give a new one, image or movie, open one, um, environment, ah yeah, crap, that was wood zero one, I think it was, yeah, there we go, now just select UV, and if you want to, you can normal map it, so it looks a bit more bumpy. Why isn't it normal mapping? Yeah. I don't know, something's up with that. Anyway, that's how you create realistic looking trees for the Blender game engine, really simply and easily. That was how long that it was like six minutes. Seven actually. So in about seven minutes you can create a nice looking tree, really simply, really easy. And that's all for today. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you have any questions, comment and post a comment below. Yeah. See you.